right, what is up, people? I am back. And you see what I'm doing today. This is going to be like a how to play slash which is my top bosses in order from least to favorite to most favorite. <clears throat> Only because i actually been seeing this game popping up a lot in my area of where I live. Like, a lot of these people got multiple tables of this game for some strange reason. And, of course, you know, you see it's Ocean Monster 3. And, of course, this name. And, of course, I've been playing it for a bit. And I got some little tips and tricks you can try. I ain't saying it's the best, but I say you can actually try. And this is also from what I've seen and played and I actually thought I did like a how to play on this game thank you shout out to the subscriber that pointed it out to me I didn't so here we go all right all right let me go ahead and just start this off and get this out of the way of course the same power up because I can't find no other video on this um, just showing what the crab used to look like and then what it looks like now. Of course, Emperor Crab. Keep it going. Alright, just gonna say right now, of course, on how to play. Let's get this out of the way. See, everyone around here, what's this, a 10 person seat or whatever? Yeah, this looks like a 10 person seat. Alright, of course, dollar amounts what you shoot course these are just the regular guns they also got the net guns as well I like these if I feel like being a sharpshooter or whatever but then there's also these right here see this the targeters some people was having a problem using the targeters I actually showed some people once you get to the targeter you just move the stick to either the left or the right just either hold it or tap it you'll see the things move side to side and whatever gets right here is basically what this gun is going to lock on. And see, it's faded out right now. So it looked like the dragon was just on there. Look like the thunder dragon. But in this spot, it's whatever the biggest thing is going to be out there is going to be in this spot. All right. If you see the dragon go away and you see like right now the emperor's crab is coming, the crab going to take that spot. All right. <clears throat> Y'all have to keep scrolling. Oh my God, where is it going to be? Crab got his own spot, just like the King Well got his own spot technically on here. And whatever round or whatever comes out that's almost like equivalent to that creature, it'll take that spot. Very simple. But Emperor Crab, that's going to say, my favorite. There have not been a time, and I'll say again, it's not been a time that when Emperor Crab didn't come out, <clears throat> no one didn't earn some points all right just gonna put it out there and of course it's like i said <clears throat> i'm just gonna show you what it looks like let's go all right here they go see how they walking through and they go jelly Alright, just gonna throw it out there. Now you see this guy got it. Alright, he got it for a dollar, so it should be a nice amount. Of course, the multiplier is now showing up. But as you see on everyone else's gun, it's still highlighted. So that means everyone at the same time can still be tapping at the other crab. Even him, he can continue tapping. The most I've ever seen so far, correct me if I'm wrong, if y'all see more, put it in the comments. I seen one person at least get two and then couldn't shoot no more while everyone else can still shoot while there's another one. Even though you just knocked off one, there's still another one for somebody shooting. If somebody else got that one, there's still another one. But I have seen three crabs at most so far went off around the same time. Just one person get the multiplier and the other one just get the roll up. You know what I mean? They just go straight for the amount. <laughs> while one person get the multiplier. I'm not saying the other person is not multiplying, it just ain't gonna show up all dramatic like this. But yeah, if you actually play this, well, I'll start it back over. Let me let him finish. That's what it's gonna look like. If you're the person that got the multiplier. Yeah. 
Alright, let's go back to the crab real quick. See how you got the two times? Alright, crab go belly up. This is what I do, and this is what I actually, you know, try if you want to. Um, when you shoot or whatever, and you get one crab, keep tapping. Either stay at that amount, or jump up, like, five points, or ten. Just walk it up, and just get for the next one. See where the next one will go off like that. Or to stay at your amount if you're feeling real good about it. Just keep on tapping. Because there's three different crabs I know of. There's like, well, there's actually more than three. But there's the small one that pay you a small amount. And then there's the medium. Then there's the king emperor crab. That's we call it. That sucker pay out big. When you climb up the scale on that one, it's actually pretty nice. Even though I was hoping they left in when their crab legs actually fall off. They actually, as you know, it's getting real close. But too many people actually caught on to that. When the crab legs actually go off, you jump it up or not to start tapping a little bit more into it to make them go. Hey, I did that plenty of times. So if you have a table that the crab arms or legs still fall off and you still running around, that's when you jump it up a notch and just start tapping. That's why I suggest you get a chance to actually get a few more points. But this is my number one favorite. I will sit at a table just waiting for them coming out. I'm sorry, where I live, all we do is eat crabs. Next. Uh, I don't know what number I put down. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's back it up a little bit. Now you see, when it's saying Darkness Monster coming out, you see how he already got his gun set to it. It's not faded in, but as soon as he hit the table... Voila. All right, he's not really on my top tier. He's more like you know down bottom. I say number, you know, I forgot how many bosses it was. But anyway, he's not my top tier. He wouldn't be my number two. It's hard for him to go off. But when he do, he actually plays decent. All I know is just only two type of monsters for this one: the small one and the big one. All right. But of course, he already got his gun set. I would actually suggest do like four or five taps at a time. Now, if it's like multiple streams, you can join in. But when it's like multiple streams zapping into them, that's when, to me, it feels like it's just pulling the most. It is dragging you out. I won't waste my time. I'll do like four zaps and then just wait. <laughs> Now you see, he's going off, right? And you see here, another one's not quickly to take his place. So yeah, you see, it's not really my favorite. You know, when he get it, everyone's just going to have to pick up the scraps. You know, it's still a drill, a little small drill crab and all that crap. But yeah, see, that's, that's another reason why it's not my favorite. <laughs> put the alligator in front of the darkness monster I'm just gonna say that I'm sorry the crocodile I actually put him in front what he used to look like what he look like now here we go look at this he's out 
Of course, like I said before on the crab, see how he got this one? There's still another one. So you can still actually just keep on tapping to get this one or just wait and see what you get. Either way, it's going to show you a dollar amount. Sorry, it will show you a point amount. Now I actually go here eventually. So if you're down, it'll fill back in and so on and so forth. But this is where I actually show you what you get. Of course, everyone else still get a chance to get this one. But if you see them go off at that amount, Either you go to that mount or go five points below or higher. Now, if you're on the table that, you know, you can play by pennies. Oh, goodness. Man, I don't like those tables. But, of course, all the same. Let's continue. Look at there, got a medium fish. Got another medium fish. Alright, that one got two medium fishes at the same time. Now, if they actually do more of that when someone actually get like the big thing, they start getting more medium, medium to small fishes. I'm fine with that. That would actually be great. Just like when people get the little rocket things that shoot out every now and then. Let the rocket do, you know. Some damage on the big one. Make the big ones pop off. Make them feel special. Keep it going. Keep the roll up going. Alright, that's all you little game creators out there. If you're actually looking and listening, suggest that. Give us more leeway. Alright? Okay. Here come the octopus. What he used to look like, what he look like now. This is my second favorite. So if the crab's not out, but he's out with the tentacles, this is my second favorite right here. All right, this hint, this is another go-to. Hint, multiple, multiple tentacles. All right, look down here. He's already on something big, and something big has popped up. All right, see how he already had it on something big? And then the next big thing took his place. All right, this is where people that don't know how to play or never played before boom this is actually showing you to all you uh you know vets you know what the deal is you know help them out but of course when it comes to this all right this is what i actually do and the same thing i do for the crab i just tap because when you actually have it set it normally lock on to you know wherever the first one or the close one is the closest one is so i just do a few taps tap 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 like four taps Move the thing over to something else, then move it back to the boss. And that's like 50 50 chance it'll move to another tentacle. Because you know, sometimes you don't really want to shoot at this one, you want to shoot at another one down here, or this one. Because other games give you more control of which ones you want to shoot. You know, I just move it back and forth until it goes to like a different target. You know what I mean? Alright, anyway, continue. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Wow, really? He's actually old out? Normally when this is going on, they must have caught it at the end of the round. Because normally, he'll still be highlighted where everyone else can still shoot another one while these are slamming on. You know, put it down in the comments, you know. You don't really do that anymore. Let me know. Okay. Mmm. Alright. Fire Dragon Turtle. This is what it used to look like, what it looked like now. I guess they had to highlight the horns or whatever. Uh... I might have to say this is my number three. My third favorite. You know, it's a little much to get him to go, but at least he go. He go more often than the flaming and the thunder, I'll tell you that. Now, of course, this is another one that actually don't go off, uh, like I said, often, but... 
he go more often than the flaming and the thunder dragon and also when this goes I do not think you can shoot or another one right away will comes in and take its place so whoever get it they get it all right but same thing before just tap 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 I say tap four taps or whatever or if he's been out for a while and haven't went off yet you might have to lean into it as long as you know you got enough points to actually go in make sure if you're going in make sure that amount is worth it don't just dump it all into it See how you just got that shark? That's what I'm talking about. That's another medium thing that, you know, that's medium to high, not medium to low or easy. That's medium to hard right there for that shark to go off. There's that shark and then there's that killer whale. And king whale, that, that's hard. They almost up there with the fire dragon and thunder dragon. You people know what I'm talking about, but when they go, for some strange reason, you better stay at that number. Because if you're constantly killing them, you're actually known as the king whale killer on the table. You're the one people that don't like. They say, oh my god, yeah, this this cheating son of You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's go. Alright, Flame and Dragon. This this uh yeah. Them and the Thunder Dragon dead last in my life. But it don't mean the payout's not pretty good. Alright? It's just they're real hard. They rarely go off. And if the you're on the table that they go off, you know, quite a bit, that means some of the other bosses don't go off quite a bit. It's almost like a balance scale. I don't know. Something. Anyway, they got them as soon as they came out, so let's go. Now, hopefully you're paying attention to all the dollar amounts, sorry, point amounts that actually comes out. Two, 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 four, two, 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 two. And even got this puffer fish. Medium to easy is what I consider that. Or medium to, you know. Still a multiplier. That killer whale is right here. My god, he's pretty good too. He's like above the shark, but in between the king whale. You know what I mean? Ooh, 14 already? Oh, they had a dollar. No wonder. course of thunder now some people thunder dragon will look you know reddish but then there's other ones that look you know blue a little lightning into it but you know what i'm talking about okay that whale if you can this killer whale if you can actually get that to go off that's actually pretty good that's medium to hard this is medium to easy but they're both still multipliers all right hint this is not bad to shoot at, especially if you're in the bonus round. They're just going straight across. So if you're one of these end seats, you got it made because they're coming straight for you, especially if the one that's just one seat or just in. Y'all got it made, baby. That's all I got to say. Continue. I wish. That's how you know it's a Thunder Dragon, even though everyone's effects was different, but that song stayed the same, you know what I mean? Oh. 
Oh, whoops. Anyway, if you have any questions, put it down in the comments. I'm going to try to, I got a couple of comments I still got to go back to and answer. But if you have any comments, any questions, or any little tricks that you actually know, I put it down so we can all actually, you know, see, try it out, test it, come back, confirm. And if you want me to do another video like this, I can, of course. If there's any other games you actually want me to hit up, test up, try, give my feedback to, let me know in the comments and I'll actually get to it. Alright, thanks for actually watching. i see y'all in the next video. Peace. Yeah.